Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you must have seen from the thumbnail, I'm going to discuss about fingerprints, introduction, what are fingerprints, certain important points to remember, conditions when fingerprints are absent. So there are certain disease conditions when fingerprints are not present. So those conditions will also be discussed. So Dactylography is the study of fingerprints as a method of identification. So the study of fingerprints is known as dactylography and it is also called dermatoglyphics or dactyloscopy. So remember these three terms, all of these terms are related to fingerprint study. A fingerprint match is widely accepted as most reliable evidence in identification purposes. So fingerprint, as we all know, they are unique. They are so unique that they are most reliable. No other evidence is more reliable than fingerprints because we know that no two persons share a similar fingerprint. Hence, they are the most reliable evidence for identification. This system was first used by Sir William Herschel in 1856. Now, in certain books, I have seen the year 1850. Now, in certain books, I have seen that 1856 year is also mentioned and 1858 year is also mentioned. So, just mark according to the option available in the exam. Sir Frank S. Gelton, then came Sir Frank S. Gelton who systemized this method in 1892. And Galton is also known as father of fingerprint. Also, in 1892, Galton wrote a book called Fingerprints. Okay, so remember this and... Uh, and I've made an entire video on the history of fingerprints. If you want to check that out, I've provided the link in the description box. Then let's talk about what are fingerprints. The finger, palm of the hand and soles of the feet of human bear friction ridges and they are called fingerprints. So as you can see here in this picture also that on the tip of the fingers, on the palm of the hand and on the sole, the palm of the hand area is also known as the palmar region and the sole of the feet is also known as the plantar region. So they bear friction ridges. Now fingerprints consist of two parts. There is friction ridges and then there is valley or furrow. Friction ridges are the elevated portion whereas the valleys or furrow is the depressed, depressed area of the fingerprint. On the tip of the fingers, the friction ridges forms a number of basic patterns. And we know that there are three basic patterns that is whorls, arches and loops. I'll be discussing this in detail in the classification of, video, of fingerprint video. Within each basic pattern are numerous possible variations and these are due to minutiae. And uh, do not worry, I have discussed all these uh, new terms that you must be listening right now in the uh, classification of fingerprints video. So, uh, I'll be discussing it there. Then, dermal carvings or riches appear first time from 12th to 16th week now this point is very very important with the entrance point of view the question has been asked several times that when is the first time that the dermal cravings or the ridges started to start to appear in the intrauterine life so the answer is going to be 12th to 16th week and their formation is completed by the 12th week this is also important that when fingerprints are completely formed so it is completely formed in 12th week or we can also say that 6th month. And then they remain constant throughout the embryonic life. Not just embryonic life but also after birth and through the entire life of the individual these fingerprints do not change. Now the arrangement and distribution of patterns are unique to every individual and no two hands resemble each other. Now the chances of identical fingerprint, now the chances that two people will be having the same fingerprint are 1 in 64 million. So you can see for yourself how um, rare it is going to be or it is kind of impossible only to uh, find two people having same fingerprints. Fingerprints do not change throughout life unless they are damaged so as i've mentioned that they remain same throughout the life and they do not chain, change unless and until someone deliberately tries to change them permanent impairment of fingerprints occurs in leprosy electric injury or after uh, and after exposure to radiation or if someone gets an injury of you know 
more than one to two mm <clears throat> beneath the skin because this much uh, if it is up to 0.6 mm then uh, the fingerprint ridges will be formed again but if the injury is more is beneath one to two mm then fingerprints will not be formed again because the dermal portion the dermal papilla that is responsible for forming the fingerprints is also removed also fingerprints can be permanently and deliberately uh, removed by criminals in order to reduce their chances of conviction they can achieve so by burning by uh, their fingers or by plastic surgeries or by putting their hands in acid so all these are different methods that the criminals use in order to reduce their chances of conviction then let's talk about certain conditions when the fingerprints are not present in the person's hand so ridge atrophy with alteration is seen in all these celiac disease dermatitis eczema psoriasis acanthosis nigricans scleroderma dry and atrophic skin so remember all these names in all these diseased conditions ridge atrophy is seen then there is a cancer drug called capecitabine now when someone takes this drug there are chances that this might lead to lose uh, loss of fingerprints from the hands of the person so remember the name of capecitabine drug also which is a anti cancer drug then the this can be genetic also the genetic diseases include blair disease Zinsser Engelmann Cole disease, Nageli Friend Kesketi, Jadeson syndrome, Edermatoglyphic. So all these are genetic disorders that lead to non-appearance of fingerprints on the hands of the person. So this was all about introduction to fingerprints. I hope you understood whatever I told you. And if you have any problem, then you can tell me in the comment section. Other than this, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, share it with your friends as much as you can. Thank you.